Alright, welcome back YouTube. This is probably going to be one of the last parts of the playthrough. Um, actually it is one of the last parts of the playthrough. We're at the ending here. <sighs> I did a lot today, like... <laughs> I'll have beaten this game in two sessions, technically. Or not technically, but actually. Because what, I started this session with the... With pretty much Carla being naked in the shower. And now we're here. Oh! Hold up, I want that bonus. Give me that bonus. Give me that boner. Dog, this is fucking first draft shift. <laughs> it's the roughest of rough drafts. I think uh, David Cage had a too much. He was too much under the influence during this. Smoking some hash, fucking eating some pot brownies. He was like, it hit him, dude. He's like, yes. Orange Clan, Indigo Child, Oracle, yes, all of this. Yes, that's what this needs. Where are we? In hell. Abandoned subway station, I guess. Fucking level 1 2 of Mario Bros. <laughs> How did you find me? That man came I looked you up on MySpace. He told me you needed help. So, what do we do now? Looks like we don't have much choice, but follow him. Lucas, you're safe and sound. I wonder if there's a way to make it so Marcus isn't alive here. I don't think you can. I think the game forces him to be alive. Marcus, how did you end up here? They came looking for me. They explained everything. I know now you were in prison. Oh, thanks. Hope you can forgive me. Took I couldn't all of this. Know that you were really... What are you talking about? Our hopes will explain everything. And now this is just. I mean, it's already jumped the shark, but this is just where it gets fucking Welcome stupid. Welcome to the Invisibles, Lucas. Come and take a seat by the fire. Why can't I take a seat on your Carla's lap? Or your lap? Cap of pride. Who are you? Why did you help us? We're the invisible. Since the dawn of time, we've been secretly observing the clans. Our mission is to ensure that the indigo child... Peace and love, homie. Peace and love. Yeah, I hope the writers got better at writing, too. I mean, Heavy Rain was a better written game than this, so they kinda did. Unless they had a completely, like, I new set of employees by then. That's where she will deliver her message and fulfill the prophecy. Where do we find this chromosource? There Up your ass. Known to exist on the Take two the chicken nuggets, McNuggets, and shove them. Up your ass. That's where I was born. My parents were scientists. They were working for the government. In the 50s, an artifact was discovered that was not of human origin. It turned out to be a chroma source. Is this hair going through his hat? It is, dude. Nice. Oh, that's a bandana. Well, it's a very shitty one. In two hours, the time it'll take to finish preparations on your vehicle and Two hours, that's how long it took David Cage to write the ending. Waiting for you at Kushida. You must do whatever it takes to prevent them from uniting the child with the artifact. There are some mattresses in the wagon back there, I think. You know what? This this feels like a fan fiction at this point. Like it's, it does not even feel like canon. Yes, you 
get some rest before you have to leave. You have a long journey ahead of you. Tomorrow may well be the last day you see this train. I'm dead tired, Carla. And I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> get some sleep. I don't think I can sleep right now. I'm gonna wander around a bit and join you later. I want to talk to him. Oh, we have to control her? Ugh, I don't like women. Why do I have to control his hair? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Want a threesome? With your brother? <laughs> Cause that wouldn't be weird or anything. All right, I've had enough looking around. Cause what I was really looking for was you. Still not asleep? No. I... It's been a minute. Not even. It's hard to Thirty seconds. Fields, forests, cities. Everything that disappeared and was left. What's going to happen to us? It'll be like we never existed, like, like nothing important ever happened. Are you afraid to die? I'm already dead. Not anymore. If we're both going to die tomorrow, I want you to know something. I'm, I'm sorry that we didn't meet under better circumstances. I'm sorry you're not a better lover. <laughs> You don't even have the choice to reject this. <laughs> Dude, that is so awkward. <laughs> Remastered my ass. Couldn't even have proper animation for them kissing. Dude, they don't show actual nipples and dick, do they? Oh, fuck. That's a nipple. Oh, god damn it. Uh, well, fuck. I'll still try uploading this anyway. <laughs> oh my god, that, that ass. Bruh. PS2 remastered nipple. <laughs> You're fucking a dead guy, I hope you know that. <laughs> That was so fucking stupid. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. Let's finish this fucking game. What kind of shit you got? Are you starting to read Shakespeare already? At the end of the world. That's technically what's going on in present day in the game. UFO myth or reality? What is this, a YouTube fucking clickbait title? <laughs> Some Alex Jones shit? Who's talking about me? Or are you guys fucking? He knew the hangar was going to burn, John. I'm sure of it. But he wasn't the one who started the fire. All right. Look, Mary, Billy Joel was. That's not possible, and you know it. Nobody can see things before they happen. That artifact emitted a kind of radiation that we still don't understand. Maybe it changed something in Lincoln. That's no, that's puberty, nonsense. honey. We analyzed everybody who ever came near that thing, and they all checked out fine. Don't you see? If it was the artifact, then we'd all be radiated, and we'd all There's have difference, powers. John. I was pregnant with Lucas when I went for the first time. Lucas was radiated by the artifact when he was still in the womb. This is just ridiculous, Mary. I've heard enough. I'm going to take a walk while you calm down. Lucas? What are you doing there? Ah, uh, Lucas. 
I would have preferred you guys having sex. <laughs> would have been a little less awkward. All right, final level, sweet. Remember when I was just, I started this game up today and I was like, all right, we're just gonna play a little bit while Fallout New Vegas finishes installing and then <laughs> we'll, we'll jump back into Old World Blues. Um, the now I'm done with the game Tracy, here, <laughs> and I didn't the play any plan. New Vegas tonight. They're not far away. I sense their presence. Be careful. I need you. Another awkward kiss. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, go back where we came from. Bogart will protect you. Will this be the first game I beat in 2019? Are you dabbing? <laughs> Lucas just did a sick dab right there. <laughs> He's still doing it. <laughs> I like how what I think is the first game I'm beating in 2019 is a game I already beat and is already uploaded. <laughs> on YouTube. Just a remaster. Now. Why doesn't he wear weather-appropriate attire? Cause he's dead, dude. <laughs> he doesn't feel anything. He probably didn't even feel that fucking bone. <laughs> the boning he just did. Give me the child. You are even more obstinate than you have thought. But the game is over. You will not end that long. Your inferior species will disappear like the dinosaurs before you. I thought you got shot. I'm the one who gave it to you. And Wait, I'm going to be the one who takes Am I still on route for the good ending? How do I get the bad ending? There is a module in your cortex that allows us to control. Did I fuck up at some point? This is easy. Why is this left and right quick time event easier than most of the rest of the ones in the game? Yeah, that was great. I totally didn't mess up once. <laughs> Gonna turn into a Pokemon? What's going on? You evolving? Press B. What the fuck just happened? Uh, spaghetti is falling from the sky. Can I just leave? Wouldn't that give me the bad ending? Or do I have to sacrifice the indigo child here? Got to take Jade to the altar. I don't gotta do shit. I could have sworn this is how you get the good ending, though. Either you save your woman or you save the child. None of this feels different. Your choice. Leave Carla alone. Got nothing to do with all of this. Come and take me on if you've got the guts. Damn. I'm going to make you a very generous proposition, Lucas. If you give me the child, I'll give you your life. Okay. You can live in our new world. I'll do that. 
I don't want to live in your new world. Actually, I do. Is she already dead? <laughs> I only need four. Don't give him the child, Lucas! Okay, I'll give him the child then. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think this is the bad ending now. I see you are reasonable. Welcome to our world, Lucas. Where's Tyler? Not in Florida. <laughs> Oh, he lied. Nice. What a swell dude. <laughs>